the uh, regular meeting on February 22nd, 2018, Board of Education uh, to order. Uh, at this time, uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance led by Commander Austin McKean, Lieutenant Commander Tyra Reed, from our NJRTC Cook. Quick. Look. Look. Wait. Look. Look. Wait. Pizza. Pull. Wait. Face. Freeze it. Or. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order.
that Trojan game and get that ear warm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was really cute. Great job. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Next item on the agenda is governance and leadership special recognitions. And at this time, Ms. Clayton will come forward and begin our recognition. Thank you, Dr. Lee. Um, we're so fortunate to have so many business partners in our community, and they are so good to our schools. And tonight, one of our partners is here to present some checks to our elementary schools, Mr. Andy Barnador from Satilla RMC. Andy? Thank y'all for having me here. On behalf of uh, Satilla RMC, uh, this foundation that we award this money from uh, started in the year 2000. The programs allow Satilla REMC members to round up their electric bills <clears throat> to the next even dollar with the change going to education oriented uh, programs such as the Satilla REMC Foundation. Over the past 17 years, Satilla EMC Foundation has awarded over $2 million educational purpose throughout our service area. That's for scholarships, Washington U Tour, <clears throat> endowments at South Georgia College, uh, that's the Douglas and Wake Cross campus capital funding contributions to the technical college in our service area, as well as media grants that I'll be giving tonight. Smart Grant began actually in 2009 and the foundation has awarded $239,250 dollars to the media centers in our eight county service territory. Uh, tonight's grants are fifteen hundred dollars each and they're totaling twelve thousand dollars. Thank you. You want to call the school yeah, they only came because they were called <laughs> Company each year gives um, the away money for um, a 
nonprofit organization. And in the last two years, Clarkey Leverett, which is a uh, <coughs> farmer in Coffee County, big farmer, um, has nominated Ambrose. The farmers nominate to the company and then they select and then the farmer gets to tell what organization um, that they want to give it to. And um, we have his beautiful little granddaughter in our school. So he nominated us to have it um, last year. And then he said this year he really wasn't expecting it. And then they gave him a call. He called. He said, hey, we got it again. Nobody else wants to give out the money. I said, we'll take it. We'll take it. So, um, we want to thank Clark Leverett for nominating us, but also to the um, company, the Monsala Company, which I understand is the Roundup Company. Everyone's told me. Um, it's, um, anyway, they do the American Farmers Grow Communities. And that's where the money is. And it's $2,500. And we've already gotten the in the back. Association of Secondary School Principals Principal of the Year Award and we got a call a couple of weeks ago told to keep it quiet that in fact Miss Sherry Berry Coffee Middle School Principal now for seven years does an excellent job runs a great <coughs> school I can say it as a parent not only as a school superintendent but as a parent runs a great school if you go in your classrooms it it's uh, coffee middle school. I told our other principals it looks like a teaching clinic going on at uh, coffee middle school. Great instruction. The teachers are to be commended. The assistant principals, all the staff are to be commended. And most of all, Miss Sherry Berry is to be commended for the job that you all have done at coffee middle school, making it an exemplary middle school for the state of Georgia, as evidenced by the fact that Miss Sherry Berry is the Georgia Association of Secondary School Principals Principal of the Year. visit to the school um, later on because it is for the 2019 
school year. Um, after that, you know, you count on pins and needles thinking, well, could I? And so I pulled up all the data from all the schools that I was in competition with, that my school's in competition with, and we beat them all hands down as far as growth goes, and all but one as far as progress, but they're not as diverse a community as we are. Their socioeconomic status is way above ours. They're kind of a wealthy community, so I was like, okay, well, maybe if it's based on the school data, then we really, really have a shot. And it is because it was based on the school data. I did go with the vision, the Vince Lombardi vision. That was my focus when I got there seven years ago. But it was because of the hard work of my teaching staff and my administrators and the students and trying to get them involved and want to come to school and the teachers to want to come to work to make an environment like that. And we've achieved it. We have achieved excellence. So I'm very thrilled and honored to be here. Thank you so much. discussed in depth with the board members presentations were made concerning the agenda items and board members asked questions and, and not necessarily does everything that was discussed make it onto the consent agenda what makes it onto the consent agenda is what the board agrees to consensus to place on the consent agenda so all these things have been vetted by the board and been approved by the board to be on the consent agenda it's the minutes from our January meeting the monthly financial report uh, through the month of January, the out-of-state travel. We have a number of trips. So uh, the elementary schools heading to uh, Jacksonville and one trip to Fernandina to study the aquatic environment along the coastal areas of Georgia and Florida. And then we also have the GSBA delegate and alternate to be appointed to attend the uh, summer workshops uh, for the Georgia School Board Association. And the delegate is Mr. Preston and the alternate is uh, Ms. Miller. So that is on the agenda, the consent agenda, Mr. Chairman. All right, if you could, if you would just quickly cover the uh, financial report for us. The monthly financial report, the uh, end of month fund balance is $15,062,359.31. And uh, that is uh, a little bit, uh, a little bit below last month. Uh, last month it was uh, maybe $100,000 more, but we are uh, ahead of where we were at this point last year. And I would like to add that as we talked through the earlier meeting and we talked about budget and we talked about facilities and the five-year facility plan, uh, we talked about what we're doing in our schools to keep our children safe and to keep our young people safe. And, and some of the things that we're doing is certainly reviewing all of our plans and all of our facilities and everything that we do in regards to locking doors and keeping our, our campuses uh, secure. We're actively reviewing all of those uh, practices on our campuses. We've met with administrators throughout this week to discuss safety concerns. We've, we've drilled on a number of the campuses this week. I know one of the campuses conducted a an active drill and so we are uh, constantly drilling and of course with the activities of the, the past week we have been uh, very uh, prudent to make sure that we have reviewed everything we do in regards to school security we're also looking at some upgrades and some facilities and providing some some additional upgrades and some facilities to make sure that they're secure but we're confident 
and the things that are being done to, to ensure that our children are safe here in Coffin County. And we will be reviewing those things moving forward also. And, uh, <clears throat> um, this time I need a motion to accept the consent agenda. Make a motion to accept the consent agenda as presented. Mr. Block. Second. Ms. Miller. Okay. All in favor. <coughs> This time I would ask the, the board to consider the proposal that's been put forth for filling of a board seat. We have uh, been discussing uh, in our last board meeting, we discussed the procedures for replacing a board member if a board member uh, steps down or moves or in the event of a death, how we would replace a board member and uh, we are proposing local legislation that will be put forth in the state legislature to change the method for selection of a board member in the event that we have to fill a vacancy. And the proposal has been presented to the board and you've had a chance to read the proposal. Um, are there any questions about this change that we are proposing? Anyone? Good. You want to just briefly describe the change? I can, yes, sir. On a bill to be entitled to amend an act creating a Board of Education of Coffee County approved March 10, 1970, as amended, so as to revise the provisions for filling of vacancies in the Office of Members on the Board of Education to provide an effective date to repeal conflicting laws and for other purposes being enacted by the General Assembly of Georgia, Section 1, an act creating a Board of Education of Coffee County approved March 1970. In the event of a vacancy occurs on the board for any reason other than the expiration of the term of office, and there is one year or less remaining in such person's term of office, the remaining members of said board shall elect the person who shall serve for the unexpired term in the event that there is more than one year remaining in such person's term of office, the va vacancy shall be filled by a special election called and held in accordance with Code Section 25-2-540 of the OCGA. And this would change the current selection process which says that the board shall appoint a replacement. So this would move the filling of the vacancy to an election of the people if there's more than one year remaining in the term. So that was the desire of the board to put it back in the hands of the people. If there's more than one year remaining on the term, then the people will elect the person to fill the vacancy. You you been over have you been over this for Ms. Johnson? Yes, we have discussed it and uh, she is she is fine with the way this will this will change the law. That was the, the biggest uh, concern was the fact that allow the people to choose the person to fill in the seat and not just have the board select. And that's what this does. This will allow the people to select a replacement. If there's less than a year, the election's right around the corner. Uh, so <coughs> we just select somebody to be in there short term. But if there's more than a year, um, there'll be an election. Any action taken on this resolution? Yes, I wanted the board to approve it. I don't want to wait till Ms. Miller steps back in, or there's three of y'all here. It's how we do it. I know we've got, I know she excused herself. She's got everything in there going around. So um, we've seen a motion in a second. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right, all in favor. Thank you. And we do have a letter that you'll need to sign before y'all leave here tonight. We're going to send up to our state representative that we'll put on the, the uh, agenda for the legislative session. And thank you, Council, for helping mm -hmm. and, and guiding and, and putting that together. And All right. thank Representative uh, Clay Purple also. Yes, sir. Besides uh, Representative uh, Rookie. Yes, sir. I would like to make a point to, to thank uh, Representative Rickia and Perkle for their their help in making this happen. And Senator Moore, for, I mean Tyler. And Moore, Tyler Harper, Harper for voting for it. Have to approve it. Yes, sir. All right. 
and thank you board members. I know it, it took some, some uh, effort there to change that. Executive session, I have no need for an executive session. I do have personnel re recommendations that were presented, uh, including uh, the substitute list that was presented uh, at the work session. I ask the board to approve that personnel list and substitute list. Make a motion we approve the personnel recommendations as presented and the substitute teacher list as presented. Good okay. All in favor? All right, board member comments? No trouble. Mm -hmm. All right, just say again, congratulations to Ms. Barry. Thank you. Mr. Cool, Council, and employees. Yeah, uh, yeah, congratulations, sir. Fine. Thank you all for, for support. Her. All the family. Big, big piece of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike was in Perry at the Black Fox show. I knew he wasn't here because I wasn't anybody in the audience that didn't have a hat on <laughs> So Miss Miller's feeling a little better. But, um, here. We'll take care of business. Right? I figured I could handle that. I might check during it. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, did you have anything for everybody, Miss Miller, from the comment section? Okay. I'm not contagious, though, because right. I'm All right. <laughs> Well, I'd like to thank Ms. Barry for all your work at Coffee Middle School. You've just done a fantastic job uh, bringing along everybody there together and, and just doing a fantastic job. And, and you said it, the data shows it. If you look at her student achievement, it has just gone up and up and up and up. And uh, great job, consistent, firm, you expect excellence, high expectations, uh, you build relationships, you, uh, you deserve principal of the year. So, thank you. And uh, I do want to uh, get back on the, the piece on, on what occurred in Florida last week. And we certainly uh, send our hearts and our prayers out to the families who were experiencing such loss in Florida. And, and uh, it's a reminder of this, uh, I guess, volatile world that we do live in. And, and uh, uh, we will continue to think of those parents and families and employees and pray for. I do want to say that, that we are very serious about what we do here in Coffee County and we expect uh, excellence out of everyone and, and that includes in regards to school safety and to ensuring that we are providing the most secure environment we can for our children and, and expecting the best for our children. And so we, we are committed to upgrading and making improvements and changing and and uh, doing those things that need to be done to modify buildings and install additional security cameras and install additional locks and doors and such on buildings. So we, we have been doing those things and we are continuing to do those things even today and we will tomorrow and we will the next day. And we are committed to the children and the families here in Coffee County. So uh, at this point, that's all I have. Good group. We're adjourned. Thank y'all.